About half of all roads in the country are unpaved. In Minnesota, local agencies are working hard to maintain 66,000 miles of gravel roads. Let's look at some of the common questions people have about gravel roads. What is a gravel road? A gravel road often is used to refer to any unpaved roadway. But a true gravel road is an engineered roadway with a surface layer constructed of aggregate, such as sand, gravel, pebbles, or crushed stone from gravel pits and quarries. Why gravel roads? The main reason for choosing to construct a gravel road usually has to do with cost. Paving a roadway with asphalt or concrete is more expensive than finishing the driving surface with gravel. Traffic volume, road network needs, and available funding sources typically factor heavily into the decision. Uh, at least the initial costs for a paved road are very expensive, uh, but the maintenance costs of a gravel road can be higher long term uh, because of the grading and the, the dust control factors and the re-graveling to get the road, sometimes annually. Why do gravel road conditions vary? The condition of a gravel road depends on a lot of factors. Those factors include the types of local soils beneath the road, topography, weather and climate, the available materials used to construct the road, the way the road was constructed, traffic, and maintenance practices. The quality of gravel depends greatly on composition of local supplies. The optimal gravel surfacing is a uniform mixture of stones, sand, and clay that when compacted with adequate moisture will form a hard crust on the road. Most counties are doing the best they can with the aggregates that are available to them without having to go to another county or another part of the state and import uh, what they're missing. What does it take to keep a gravel road in the best condition? Well-maintained gravel roads are the result of a solid maintenance and improvement plan, adequate funding, good materials, good training, and good equipment. A motor grader is the primary piece of equipment used to maintain gravel roads. Road agencies use a grader to blade gravel roads as often as once or twice a week to once or twice a year, depending on the condition of the road, traffic volumes, and weather conditions. The crown is the center of the road where it comes together and peaks in the middle. If you don't have enough crown when it rains, water comes and it congregates just on the road and doesn't really shut off. And then over time, uh, on a, if it's wet in the fall, because that water isn't shedding off, you have more moisture in, in the road. And then when it freezes, it expands uh, and causes more frost boils come springtime. Roads are weakest during the spring thaw, when soils are saturated with ground moisture. To protect the investment in the road, it's important to follow weight restrictions each spring. What are common problems with gravel roads? There are several major categories of distresses that can be identified in gravel roads. Poor drainage, corrugations or washboarding, dust, potholes, ruts, and loose aggregate. For the most part, these common problems depend on the specific materials used to construct the road, how they are mixed, and how they are placed to ensure proper drainage. Gravel roads need adequate moisture to sufficiently bind the materials together, especially in the protective surface layer. Without enough moisture, a gravel road will get very dusty, and the fines, which are essential for binding the surface materials, will blow away. The, the big thing about controlling dust on gravel roads is to, you know, only grade roads when you have adequate moisture, like after a rain or in the spring when there's, a, there's some moisture in the road so that it seals back up. Without enough binder, the road will washboard easily and leave a lot of loose aggregate on the road surface. In addition, slow rains will soak through the gravel, saturate the road subgrade, and make the road soft. But too much binder makes the road surface sloppy and slippery when it rains. What can you do to help maintain the gravel roads in your area? Your local uh, you know, county agency or township, they're doing the best they can to keep those roads smooth and safe. Local road users can help maintain gravel roads by simply exercising good driving habits. Help keep your gravel road in good condition by staying in your lane, traveling at an appropriate speed for the conditions, avoiding abrupt starting and stopping behavior, and observing vehicle size and weight restrictions. After all, many routine trips and the delivery of day-to-day -day products and services depend on gravel roads. Without a doubt, gravel roads are a critical part of our transportation infrastructure and an investment worth protecting.